Okay, okay, we just wrapped season four of Below Deck Sailing Yacht, and that finale, that two-part series finale, did not disappoint. I can't wait to recap with you guys all that happened in this last one. I can't think of a crazier charter guest group. I can't think of a crazier love triangle ending. I mean, ugh, this season had it all. Chef's kiss. All right. So let's talk about what just went down in this finale. So the biggest thing that happened is that we actually saw some resolution and everything come to light with Gary and Mads and Alex because that's been going on in the background the whole time. I'm still not over the fact that the producer was like, sorry, Gary, she's actually told you the entire season that she wasn't serious about this relationship, situationship, whatever you want to call it. So I do think it was extremely telling that we had this situation going on with the guests, with uh, the thruple. That was new for Below Deck. I don't think we've seen that before. And then, you know, on the crew, we have this love triangle that's just continuing to spew out. I think this is a really sad ending for Gary. I think he really spiraled out. He's not used to uh, losing uh, to someone else. He's not used to losing the girl. Uh, he's used to bringing in multiple girls from the crew. And this season, he ended up with none. And, uh, yeah, I think he was more embarrassed. And I think his ego was bruised more than anything. I don't think he had feelings for Mads. Um, and sometimes I don't even think he has feelings for Daisy. I think he just... Like he said at the end of the episode, I think he wants what he can't have. Um, I am happy to see that this thing is kind of budding for Alex and Mads. I do think they're adorable together. Um, I'm guessing that they're probably not officially together, but, um, and I wonder how much of that crush and relationship actually was real or just that, you know, forbidden fruit kind of thing, so. Uh, we'll see how that pans out, but I do think, you know, he, Alex was right at the end. They, they continue to hang out all the time. Chase does too. Um, Chase has recently bought a sailboat and is refurbishing it. Really fun YouTube channel. You should check it out. But he also, you know, has had Alex and them over. Um, so I do think Alex, Mads, and Chase continue this really fun friendship uh, stateside after the yacht, which is fun to watch on social media. So, one of the biggest things is what happens to Daisy and Colin. We obviously know at this point, we've covered it, that they had, you know, a trip together, um, in California, and they've been in LA, and they've been together at different points since the season. Obviously, now we know that, uh, they're filming in Ibiza right now for the next season, and Colin is not there. I think he's really just living his dream on his boat, on the Parlay Revival. Um, hey, he is a king of self-promotion because I never forget the name of his boat because he's always wearing that shirt. So, Colin, you're a mogul. We got it. Good branding. We, we see it. We got you. And, yeah, I thought their goodbyes were sweet. I think they were really innocent about it, and I think they were very logical about it of, hey, one of you lives in England and the other one lives on a sailboat in the middle of the Caribbean. So maybe distance could be hard when, you know, someone's literally on a sailboat with no Wi-Fi <laughs> wherever they're going. So I do think, you know, it probably wouldn't have lasted just from that situation alone. Although, you know, there's still some unresolved stuff there between Daisy and Gary. I've heard that the reunion is very tense. Um, it's very focused on the love triangle. So I'm sure we'll hear more about that next week. And um, yeah, I thought it was a great finale. I thought the guests were outrageous. I thought everyone had a lot of tough conversations to end the season. And yeah, here's to hoping that Gary has, you know, some serious inner reflection and, and growth uh, on his way to season five. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what you thought about the finale in the comments below. And guys, the discount's back.
bucks. So if you want 15% off on this Chief Stew Energy hoodie, she's so cute. She's so cozy. Get it in the link in the description. See ya.